Hi there, in this tutorial we're gonna be creating this amazing presentation in PowerPoint. You're gonna learn how to use Smart Transition to achieve this beautiful animation. Also, we'll create an opening slide. I'll walk you through each step, so even if you're an absolute beginner, you'll be able to create this nice presentation yourself. But before we get started, please consider giving this video a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, and click the notification bell. Your support means a lot to me. And now let's jump into PowerPoint. Create a new blank slide. We'll be adding some graphics that might extend beyond the slide area, so let's set up guidelines to keep things tidy. To add more guides to your slides, simply hold down the Option key on Mac or Alt key if you're on Windows. Then grab an existing guide and drag it to the side. This will create a copy. Make sure you position this new guide where the slides area ends. Repeat this process for the other side. Now let's start by adding a basic rectangle. For that I'm gonna go up to the home ribbon and click on the shapes menu and in the drop down I will want to select the rectangle tool. Then let's just create one. We're gonna adjust its size a bit later so don't worry about the precise dimensions just yet. Next let's change the rectangle's color and remove the outline. Navigate to the shape format ribbon and click on the format button. This opens the format shape pane over on the right side. And in the pane under the line section, let's select snow line. And then under the fill section, we can change the fill color. Open up the color tool. And here you can type in the exact color value. I want this rectangle to be pink. Feel free to pick any color you like. Then just click OK to apply the changes. Now we need to rotate this rectangle by 45 degrees and for that put your cursor over that little icon up here. Then hold down the shift key on your keyboard and rotate it counterclockwise. Then just grab the shape and place it right here. Also make sure it covers the bottom right corner so let me increase it a bit and adjust the other side accordingly. Perfect. Next, let's make a copy of this shape. Hold down the Option key for Mac or Alt key for Windows. Then grab the shape and move it to the opposite side of the slide. And now make one more copy. Let's change its color to brown. And then duplicate that brown shape as well. And place it on the opposite side of the slide like this. To add some depth, we'll apply drop shadow, switch to the effects tab, expand the shadow section, and click on the presses button. In the menu, choose the first option which is outer bottom right. I'm gonna modify some of the values here. The transparency property I'm gonna set to 45%. We'll change blur to 30 points. And distance will set to 12 points. Then we'll need to create one more rectangle. I'm gonna select this brown one and just make a copy. Then in the fill section under the color tool, I'm gonna change its color to gray. And now let's position the rectangle on the slide like this. Feel free to adjust its size if needed. Just ensure it looks similar to what you see on my slide. Now let's add drop shadow to the gray rectangle. Head over to the shape format pane over on the right and in the shadow tab click on presets. Here I want to select the last option in the outer section. Then we'll need to adjust the settings. Transparency to 45%, blur to 25 points and distance to 12 points. Also let's fix this situation right here. We'll need to cover this part of the slide as well. I'm gonna select this rectangle and increase its size. And now we're ready to move on. Next, we'll start adding images to the slide. And first, we'll need to create a shape with rounded corners. Go to the Shapes tool and select this rectangle with rounded corners. Click anywhere in the slide to create the shape. In the Shape Format ribbon at the top, adjust its height and width to 16 cm or the equivalent in your units. Now remove the outline and in the fill section choose picture or texture fill. 
This will allow us to insert an image inside the shape. Go ahead and click that button that says insert and in the file explorer select your image. I've already prepared 5 images that I want to use in this presentation and please pay attention that I'm gonna start with the last one. This will be the bottom most image in the presentation and then follow the same order for the remaining images. Alright, let's click insert. It looks good, now let's make some minor adjustments to the slight elements. Move them slightly to enhance the overall appearance. Now let's add some drop shadow. Make sure the shape with the image is still selected. And in the format picture pane, we'll need to open the shadows tab. Here I'll select the first option which is bottom outer right. Now let's tweak some of the settings. I'll set transparency to 45, blur to 30, and the rest of the sliders will leave at their default values. Then we'll need to slightly rotate the image, grab this rotation icon and move it clockwise until it looks something like this. Excellent! The first image is now ready. And to create the second image, hold down the Option key on Mac or Alt key on Windows and drag this image to the side to make a copy. Now we'll need to change the image inside the shape. Navigate to the Format Picture pane, click on Picture Source and select a different image. Also, let's rotate it back to a straight position. Then you'd want to create one more copy. Change it to a different image. And now rotate it. I'm gonna create two more images. All images are now ready, let me select all of them and position them on the slide like this. Next what we need to do is to send them backwards so that their corners are hidden under the topmost rectangles. And to do that go to the shape formats ribbon and click on send backwards several times. Adjust their position a bit more. And now let's run the presentation and take a look at what we've got so far. Looking good. And now we can go ahead and add some text to the slide. I'm gonna grab the text box tool and type some text. Make sure you do it outside the slide area. I'm gonna change this font to Poppins Black. And set size to 36. Then let's change the color to pink. And place it down here. Then you can create a copy for a second line of text. And for a third line. I'm gonna change its font to Hey August. Set its size to 54. And check the bold button. And change its color to brown. Now let me slightly adjust the position of each text box. Then select all three and in the shape formats ribbon click on the arrange button, hover over a line and select the line left. Now that we have all items we need on the slide, let me adjust their placement. Alright, before we move on to creating the second slide, we need to rename the text boxes. We're gonna be using Morph Transition and for it to work correctly, we need to place two exclamation marks at the beginning of their names. In the selection pane, double click where it says text box and rename it. Do the same for all three text boxes.
and now we can create the next slide by making a copy of the first one. In the slides panel over on the left side hover over the slide, then right click and choose duplicate slide. Now on the second slide grab the topmost image and pull it down outside the slide area. Also you would want to rotate it by about 15 degrees. Now let's update the text. And to have a beautiful smooth transition between slides, we'll need to apply a morph transition. Switch to the transitions tab and simply click on this morph item. Then we also need to change the speed of the animation and we can do that by setting this duration property to one and a half second. Now I'm gonna jump back to the first slide and quickly run the presentation. Hit the space bar to go to the next slide. It looks amazing. Let's continue with the remaining images. The process remains the same. We just need to create a copy of the previous slide. Then grab the topmost image and move it down. Then slightly rotate it in the opposite direction. And don't forget to update the text. I'll quickly finish the remaining slides. Now let's return to the first slide and run our presentation. It looks beautiful. Lastly, we'll create a title slide for this presentation. And for that, let's create a copy of the first slide. Make sure you go to the topmost slide. Here we can play with the size of the gray rectangle. I wanted to cover my images completely. Also let me pull this side down so we can see it inside the slide area. Then for the title, I'm gonna print this text up here. And change it. The last thing we need to do is to make sure we apply the morph transition to the next slide. So let me jump to that slide, then in the transitions ribbon click on morph, change the duration to one and a half seconds, and let's run the presentation. There's just one little thing I want to fix here. The image on slide 5 needs to rotate to the opposite direction. And that's it for this tutorial. Let's run the final result. I hope you found this tutorial helpful. Please let me know down in the comments if you tried creating it. Also, don't forget to like this video and if you haven't already, subscribe to the channel and hit that notification bell so you don't miss new uploads. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye!